Nucleotide is the language of DNA and RNA. These nucleotide sequences encode for particular proteins. How to search for a nucleotide sequence that encodes a particular protein in biological databases. And how to use this sequence in the research. Today's video is based on these questions. As I said, nucleotides are the language of DNA and RNA. The tool or database used to search for these sequences is named GenBank. Let's dive into the details of this database. I hope it will help you in your research. On the NCBI page, there are five important tools. The first one is a nucleotide. The second is a gene. Then genome. The fourth one is PubMed. And the last one is protein. Today I will only discuss nucleotides. GenBank is the most important tool of the NCBI. If you want to search a nucleotide sequence or any other sequence, first you have to go to the home page of NCBI and go to the drop-down list to select Nucleotide. After that, click on the search bar and type in any gene you want to search for in your research. For example, if you write Hub 4 to 10, you will get the following results. Click on the desired sequence, and it will direct you to the nucleotide sequence page. On this page, there are a few things to be noted. The page starts with a title. The title contains the organism's name, its species and strain, and information on whether it's a whole genome or a partial sequence. In this case, it's a whole genome sequence. Next is the locus of this gene and its size. In this case, this gene contains 631,406 base pairs, and at the end date of submission is mentioned. Next, you have the definition, which has information about an organism, which is the same as mentioned in the title. Then you have an accession number. It is the most important number. If you know the accession number of a particular gene or protein by typing it in the search bar, you will be directly directed to the desired page. Next, this page has a source. So this sequence belongs to Bacillus toyonensis. After that, you have a reference number. If you scroll down the page, here is the list of authors' names who worked on this list. In the comment section, all the information related to the organisms is available. If you scroll further, you will find what you are looking for. A nucleotide sequence is used to translate the proteins. This page contains all the protein sequences that can be translated using this nucleotide. In the feature section, you can find the locus for a particular sequence. Here is the nucleotide sequence and its locus. It means the nucleotide sequence from 5034 to 5714 base pairs encodes for a protein whose id and amino acid sequence is given below. Similarly, you can find out which nucleotide sequence encodes for which protein. Don't forget to subscribe for more informative videos and click the bell icon for the most recent ones.